Great work on today's procedure. I see you're very comfortable holding the tools and are able to anticipate my next move so you're prepared for what is coming next. Thank you. I really like how you talk to me through each step. I've been learning a lot working under you. Stop. Just stop. You're doing it all wrong. I thought you practiced for this. Just step away from the patient. I'll do it myself. What was I doing wrong? Can you let me try it and show me what to do? I can't take any chances this patient has waited a long time for this liver, and I'm not willing to risk letting an intern mess that up for her. You can leave the room now and go watch from the gallery. Chief Bailey, I'm having an issue with Meredith Gray. I've been in 10 surgeries with her now, and she hasn't let me complete a single procedure. I'm spending hours in the lab practicing and going over the procedures, but she just takes over and won't let me perform procedures on the patients. Thank you for letting me know. I will evaluate from the gallery and see what I can do to help. It's been brought to my attention that you are not letting your intern get hands-on training. She's just not ready. I can't let her fail. These patients mean too much to me. You don't think you were ready the day you started here, do you? That's how they learn. They have to log surgical hours in order to become surgeons. I was scared to death the first time I let you operate under my watch, but I had to let you try. I should suspend you for not being willing to teach our interns and for kicking yours out of the operating room. However, I'm going to give you an opportunity to prove I'm making the right choice by not suspending you. I'd like to see you spend more time with your intern in the skills lab. Make sure she has the procedure down, go over possible things that could go wrong and what to do. Then you need to let her complete a procedure from beginning to end. I will choose the surgery and I will be watching to make sure you can handle this. You are only to step in if the patient's life is at risk. I understand, Chief Bailey.